sun never bothered me anyway. Hey, you guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever side of the diaspora that you're on. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. The place where we dump all our issues and uh, try to give advice to other people who are recovering from abuse, whether it be uh, from family members, whether it be from a, a partnership, an intimate relationship, whether it just be a friendship. Once you finally re realize that you were in an abusive type of situation, um, then you might find yourself right here in the mental house because we like to talk in it about those issues, try to address them, give each other support and, and advice about um, and share our stories so someone else may get strength. Um, first thing I wanted to say, um, I start anything is we really have to stop the senseless, senseless killing in our communities. We can't go to bat, can't accomplish too much with a war that's depleted from the inside. See, that's just like America. She's a sitting duck. And because of her arrogance and her inability to uh, make peace within is a reason why we'll never have any peace without. And I'm starting to believe that that to be the same mantra uh, for the black community. Y'all got to excuse me, you know, Pepper down here acting again. And I just want to make sure that she doesn't do anything. She's always up to something. This chief is. Anyway, um, a friend of mine lost her niece in one of the coldest weekends. Y'all know it was cold here. Y'all ain't seen me because I was in the vortex. It was frozen. Okay, I, I should get my grandbaby to sing, let it flow, let it flow, because we were frozen here. Um, you step outside for five minutes just to go get the mail out your box and your knees and thighs and stuff were, were already burning. and it, it was just unbelievably cold. Okay, like, I can't do it anymore, actually. I gotta get I can't I can't even think about it again. Um, but however, God is good. He's good all the time. M my condolences go out to the family members of Destiny McClendon. She was killed in some altercation that happened on last weekend in or outside of a club. The details are still very sketchy. No matter what happened, the young lady didn't deserve to lose her life. One minute. Come here. Hear me there. No. 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 Get out of here. Go oh, lay down. Go oh, lay down. Lay down. Wait till I start doing the video before you start acting a darn fool. Come here. You want to say hi? Anyways. I want to give a, a shout out to all of them and give them my condolences. Nobody family members deserves to leave here at the hands of another person, in my opinion. Y'all know that I've had two family members murdered. One who had a self-imposed murder, but two who were actually murdered. And there's nothing like it. There's nothing like somebody having the audacity to take the life out of your loved one's body. Um, it's a feeling that I don't wish on anybody and uh, those of y'all who know what it feels like y'all know it's nothing like it so my condolences go out to the McClendons and Vanessa Burt uh, to famous McClendon Jacqueline McClendon and Tia and all the rest of y'all I just I really feel bad to hear about little destiny and uh, mom man she's 23 now so it's been a while since I've, I've, I've seen the family. 
but I just want them to know that I'm thinking about them and my prayers go out to their family in this time of their bereavement. And let's do a better job, y'all. Let's do a better job. We cannot continue to lose these wars from the inside. We not, can't continue to kill each other. We can't. In an over senseless, ridiculous type of stuff. He say, she say. Oh, that was my man yesterday, and it was not nice, your man. And I'm going to kill somebody got to die. You know, all that stuff is so ridiculous. And we got to get a grip, family. We just got to get a grip. With that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time. I mean.